Liberia President George Weah on Friday considered election defeat to opposition leader Joseph Boakai after a tight race ending a presidency marred by graft allegations but helping to ensure a smooth transition of power in the once volatile African nation. Boakai, who is 78 years old, a former vice president who lost to Weir in the 2017 election, led with 50.9% of the vote over Weir's 49.1% with nearly all the votes counted, the country's elections commission said on Friday. The result marks Turn around from 2017 when global soccer legend Weir buoyed by a wave of hope and won Boakai with 50 with and won Boakai with 62 percent of the vote. Many have since grown delusioned with the lack of progress, poverty, unemployment, food insecurity, and poor electricity supply. A few moments ago, I spoke with President-elect Joseph Boakai to congratulate him on his victory. We are said on national radio, I urge you to follow my example and accept the results of the elections. We as concession paves the way for Liberia's second democratic transfer of power in over seven decades. The first was when we are swept to power six years ago. His comments stood out in West and Central Africa, where there have been eight military coups in three years, eroding faith in democratic elections when elections do go ahead in the region. Accusations of fraud abound and results are frequently contested in court. Instead, Boakai supporters in the capital Monrovia danced, shouted, and honked car horns in the rain after the near final results were announced. Boakai, a softly spoken career politician, emerged neck and neck with Weir in the first round of voting in October, but below the 50% needed to secure an outright victory leading to Tuesday's runoff. Liberia is struggling to recover from two civil wars that killed more than 250,000 people between 1989 and 2003 and from a 2013 to 2016 epidemic that killed thousands. Many felt that we are, did not follow through on promises to, elev to alleviate poverty and improve the country's crumbling infrastructure. Alko Isakol, 43 years old, told Drought 